Greetings, dear friends. I present to your attention the most common malfunctions and breakdowns that occur on the Chevrolet Orlando. Despite the presence of decorative elements hinting at the possibility of off-road exploits, Orlando is exclusively mono-drive. But there can be two gearboxes, a six-speed manual transmission of the MZO series, which is known to Europeans as an M32, or a six-speed automatic transmission of the 6T40 series. Unlike passenger cars, Chevrolet Cruze and Opel Astra, on the same platform, Orlando doesn't have a junior series of 6T35 boxes, even with a 1.8-liter engine. And this is for the best. The 6T40 has a greater margin of safety and less chance of breakdowns in the mechanical part of the automatic transmission. There are no special problems with drives and CV joints. Most often, they are damaged by careless removal and installation of drives, for example, to replace enders. Internal tripods and are non-separable and original parts are expensive. It's good that a suitable replacement option can be found with the Astra J, there are enough of them for this car. The mechanical box MZO M32 is an old friend of Opel owners. Unfortunately, the box is far from seamless. The main trouble is an overload of the bearings of the output shaft when driving in 5th, 6th gears. If there is harm, then repairs will be expensive. The problem manifests itself with runs of 50, 60,000 in European cars and a little later in Korean ones. It may apparently not progress for a long time, but increased vibration of these shafts with wear of the bearings affects the resource of all gear pairs. Contaminants quickly finish off the synchronizers and often after 150,000 mileage, the synchronizers are not just squeezed tight, but also second, third, fourth rows of forks are worn out. The second trouble is the breakdown of the differential. True, it can only be broken when the box is running with torque motors, to which the 1.8-liter engine doesn't apply. Expensive repair of the box by Chevrolet standard is about one half and a half to 2,000 euros for a complete rebuild. More often, it's cheaper to simply find a contract unit. Moreover, there are a few Korean boxes and they are expensive, so finding a manual gearbox from Opel will be much easier and certainly cheaper, but there is one caveat. Since 1220, European M32 boxes have updated cover and bearings, and Korean cars received a similar upgrade only after 2014. Their lid was slightly changed from the very beginning, although this didn't make it much better. The variant of the box is easy to distinguish just by the cover. In the modernized version, two old channels are clearly visible. Cylindrical bulges leading from the bearings to the front wall of the gearbox, and there is no hole to control the oil level, which the old version of the gearbox had in front, between the ribs. You can also upgrade the old automatic transmission. If the bearings are not yet hauling, then by lowering the subframe you can replace the cover and bearing without even removing the entire unit from the machine. True, the price of the cover on the English language resource bites and it is often cheaper to buy a used box of the new version. When buying a car with a manual gearbox, you should pay attention to the condition of the hydraulic release. It is not cheap and usually lasts a long time, but is sometimes damaged by careless clutch replacement or overheating. The original dual mass flywheel cost from 27,000 rubles and the socks kit from 18. The resource of the flywheel strongly depends on the handling of the clutch. On average, it can withstand 120 150,000 km, but sometimes it starts knocking after 50,000. With automatic transmissions, too, not everything is so rosy. The 60XX series of boxes jointly developed by Ford and GM used all the latest achievements of box engineering, but they were let down by the implementation of these achievements. Plus, GM's gearboxes operate under much tougher conditions to provide the best acceleration dynamics possible. On Chevrolet cars, the, the glory of an extremely unreliable gearbox is provided by a weak automatic transmission cooling system, a complicated procedure for checking the oil level and too long oil change intervals. An acceptable and stable resource for these automatic transmissions appeared only in the versions after 1214, so most of the boxes on Orlando contain at least a few problems. The main problem is the mechanics of the automatic transmission is the breakage of the retaining ring of the drum of 4th, 5th, 6th gears. This problem was on the first year cars, then it is rare, and it's not so difficult to repair now. They can restore an old drum with a replacement insert or simply change it to a new one, 21-355-0-B-E-M. But the problem with the wavy spring of the packages of this drum remains. The load on it strongly depends on the driving style, and the riders have a very high chance of breaking it. If the moment of breakage is missed, fragments of the spring damage the drum and planetary gear 21-35-80, after which the repair will cost already in an amount comparable to half the price of the car. Cars manufactured before 2012 may have a weak output planet, 
which was later changed to a part from the 6045 box under the number 213584, due to which the resource of the planetary became noticeably longer. For cars with a 1.8 liter engine, this problem is not very relevant, but if you buy a diesel car, it is better to ask your dealer for the history and equipment for, of the automatic transmission. What else? Even low operating pressure of oil leads to increased vibration of the shafts under load. The gearbox doesn't tolerate shock switching, and the oil pump is very sensitive to the level of oil contamination and quickly fails. The main reason for contamination is the worn-out blocking lining of the gas turbine engine, the resource of which greatly depends on the temperament of the driver and can literally be from 100 to 200 to 150,000 km. If the box has received all possible upgrades, the oil in it is changed every 40-50,000 km and is not overloaded, then the resource may be quite decent. But that rarely happens. The undoubted advantage advantages of the design include the convenience of repair and the low price of its components. The life of this automatic transmission can be expect, extended by a paranoid short oil change interval, installation of an external filter and a radiator of sufficient area. Two engines for the Chevrolet Orlando cover most of the needs of the owners. The single 1.8-liter petrol engine is the most reliable. Two-liter diesel engines are difficult, but they have more traction and power, and fuel consumption as low. Engines share some common weaknesses. Frail radiators do not like dirt and shocks, and if they bypass valve in the expansion tank cap is jammed, not only the tank burst but also the radiator. The tanks are also not of the best quality, and when overheating, it is not the hoses that usually burst but the tank itself. The 1.8 liter F18 D4 engines are descended from Opel engines, but they are made in Korea and differ in many ways from European engines in the control system and the execution of structural units. In general, this is a simple and reliable motor, a timing belt drive, two phase regulators, a conventional distributed injection, there are no hydraulic comp compensators, and EGR an adjustable intake, a simple crankcase ventilation system. There are also disadvantages. First of all, this motor suffers from oil leaks. A poorly designed oil water heat exchanger eventually begins to leak under the exhaust manifold. The gaskets wear out, after which antifreeze gets into the oil, or vice versa, as luck would have it. Gaskets cost a little, but replacing them will cause pretty penny. Vigorous starts with a cold engine greatly exacerbate the problem. Another typical problem is the knock of phase shifters. At the initial stage, it is caused by poor valve operation or simply a clogged valve mesh in the oil channel, which is typical for engines with a factory oil change interval and original GM oil, which gives a lot of carbon deposits. Those who do not change the plugs on time have complaints about the ignition modules. The module here is one for four cylinders and costs a lot. If one cylinder fails, it requires replacement entirely. So it's better to change the candles at least once every 30-40,000 km, at the same time the speed will be more stable. There are also complaints about the operation of the thermostat. The original thermostat has a rubber seal on the valve discs, which will peel off over time. After a couple of years of operation, the thermostat loses its tightness and turns from a high temperature one into I don't understand what. In most cases, with an average load, it will provide an operating temperature of 80-85 degrees, but with two significant drawbacks. The warm-up will be long and under heavy load, the temperature will still creep up until it fully open. And if the heating element fails, the motor will operate in this mode even at temperatures above 100 degrees. The nominal opening temperature of the thermostat is 106 degrees, and this is a lot, especially since the fans are triggered even later. Engine gaskets, rubber and plastic parts of the cooling system suffer from this operating temperature, and the oil is intensely contaminated. So it's better to replace the thermostat with a cold one from a 1.6 liter turbo engine with an operating temperature of 90 degrees and better in the version with no rubber seal. Minor troubles. Weak laser engraving with the motor number, not a very successful design of the oil filter insert, and a relatively small timing resource after the first replacement. It is better not to go far over the interval of 60,000. These motors in operations are similar to the European Z18XER, A18XER, and are compatible with it in terms of components but at the same time they differ slightly in some units and most importantly in a different control system. It is noticeably more stable and has fewer failures. In Korean engines, the exhaust manifold is a little more reliable, its gasket is less often blown. They also have slightly better wiring and the ECU doesn't malfunction and is not afraid of overheating. In terms of resource, the approximate parity is 250-400,000 km before overhaul due to wear of the piston group. 
to white vibration is due to the difference in the service mode. 250,000 motors are powered by original 5W30 oil. The white variation is due to difference in the service mode. 250,000 motors are powered by original 5W30 oil and with replacement intervals from 15,000 km 400 during normal operation, not in a taxi and on high quality consumables. Diesel engines that 20 one are relatively new. Despite the fact that they were developed by GM in conjunction with VM Motori, which is part of the Fiat Empire, these diesels are very different from the joint development of Opel and the same Fiat that are used by Fiat, Alpha and Opel. They have nothing in common at all. This series of Chevrolet engines is also called Z-Motors or 2.0 VCDI. Engines that 20 d one with the timing chain with a cast iron cylinder block, hydraulic lifters, four wells per cylinder and supercharged with variable geometry and with an electric drive. The main problems are associated with oil leaks from a two-level sump, a weak front motor damper pulley and its delamination. In addition, diesel engines are distinguished by fuel equipment, which is rare in our area with a poorly burning particulate filter. Sometimes there are complaints about breakdowns of the turbine drive and zeroing of the geometry blades, but in general the pressurization system turned out to be reliable. On this, information about the problems of Chevrolet Orlando is exhausted. If you know more or do not agree with what you heard, I'm waiting for you in the comments.